Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Toya T. I'm in my car. This is a lift video. This is actually a request that I received from one of my viewers to do an update on my thoughts on Lyft Line and how it works out. Um, honestly, I think it, for passengers, it's, an, it's a great system where you are able to pay less for rides by agreeing to share a ride with a um, complete stranger or possibly sharing a ride with a complete stranger. So you pay half of that cost. Uh, especially if you're not in a hurry. For drivers, it works out pretty well, um, mostly because um, if you are trying to make the most amount of money, it is great when you have a lift line because you'll have a longer ride and you'll get uh, tips and fare from each person that's in the car. So if you have four people um, that you end up picking up, four individual people that you end up picking up, that's four different fares. Um, in the time of what would have been a one long ride, but instead you're getting, you know, four times the fare and four times possible tips. So that's a great thing. Um, Lyft has done several things within the system itself to make it a little bit more streamlined, which I find it kind of difficult. And so you will know that you have a Lyft line when um, it will tell you the bottom box when you say that you have a, uh, a ride request will be purple and it will also show you how many people um, that you are picking up and how many people will potentially be in the lift line itself. And so you could possibly, so if you are going someplace and let's say you're supposed to pick up Joe and it says Joe will be with one other person, once you arrive, um, you would press confirm arrival and then the person has, I think about 90 seconds to get into your car. You also, once so once you let them know that they're there, when they come into your car, then you have to press the confirm button again to say that Joe plus one person got into your car. If Joe ends up being alone, then you would say that it's just Joe. If Joe showed up with two extra people, you'll have to tell Joe that he cannot be in the ride because um, you, he'll have to request a regular lift ride because of the fact that uh, he had said ahead of time um, that he would only have two people and that breaks the contract that you get for um, for uh, that is the con that you break the contract between you and Lyft for that cheaper ride, a Lyft line ride. So, uh, so if that happens, you know, for new drivers that are first experiencing this, just you have to tell them kindly, I can't take you because there could possibly be other people in the Lyft line and there wouldn't be enough space for those people that have already requested a ride. So, um, if Joe is all good and it's just Joe and, and Joe's friend, then, um, uh, if uh, when you start the you press to confirm that you have the two people in your car and then you would start driving to wherever um, Okay, so the light just turned off wherever uh, Joe wherever the lift is telling you to so the one thing that you have to know about lift line is that you have to absolutely follow what the lift um, navigation is telling you so I know that recently Lyft has um, suggested that people use Waze. I've always been using Waze. Uh, for, I mean, not always, but I've used Waze for a long time. I had first started, I tried Apple Maps. It completely sucks. Waze is way better because it's actually crowdsourced. So other drivers on the road will tell you if something is blocked, if there's if there's police ahead, if they're visible, invisible, if there's something in the middle of the road. Um, and so it helps uh, Waze figure out the fastest way for you to get to your destination. And so, but the one thing about it is that you can't just, if the person tells you, oh, there's a faster way to get to my destination, destination just turn left you can't do that in a lift line because of the fact that their ride is uh, predicated on their them putting in their destination ahead of time so um, it is based off of that distance that Lyft created um, with the destination that the destination route the route that they have created so you can't you can't really veer off of the route unless it's an absolute emergency like you don't know all of a sudden the road that you're supposed to take is actually closed off for construction or there's an emergency and so that's the only time that you can actually make a different turn uh something that you have to pay attention to during lift line is to make to pay attention to when you have a new person added on and now uh because of the way it is they have uh, created a system where you always kind of like if if it's a busy time you'll probably have several people in your queue um, and it will you'll hear a ding on your phone and that means that you have someone added to your lift line now in that process your GPS will automatically change so let's say you're on your way to drop off Joe 
to his destination and you're five minutes away and all of a sudden a new person is added to that lift line your gps would automatically um change to go pick up that second person uh, and you do the same thing for the confirmation and stuff. So make sure they have this, the number of people that they say they're going to have. Um, make sh uh, and make sure that um, you leave. So I didn't say this. If the timer goes down, so let's say it gives you 90 seconds. If the timer goes down and the person is not in your car, um, you have to leave because you're supposed to uh, be on your way to the next destination. So especially let's say you have Joe and his friend in the car and you're supposed to go pick up Jane and the 90 seconds go down. You call Jane, you gave Jane plenty of uh, time, but Jane didn't, Jane is still in the house doing her hair or something um and so you have to move on because um you still have joe and his friend that you know are trying to get to their destination and let's say uh james and let's do steve because that's two different. so steve is the next in the line and you're waiting here for jane to come downstairs you can't do that so you have to go on um and so you have all the people on your lift line you just have to kind of pay attention to um, where it's bringing you because all of a sudden you're thinking you're going towards Joe's destination and now you're picking up Jane. Um, and then let's say Jane did get in the car and now uh, you're thinking, okay, so now the GPS is now leading you to where your next drop off is. So let's say that the only people in the ride is Jane and Joe and his friend. So you have three people in the car, um, a regular car. And so you start driving towards wherever Lyft um, is directing you towards. Uh, and so it, you can't automatically assume that it's Joe and his friend just because they got into the car first. It could be Jane. Some cases it is Jane. So the second person that got into the car is the first person to get dropped off. Um, and you would just drop that person off just like a regular lift. You press confirm, um, um, that you are there, you're drop, confirm, drop off. And then, you know, Jane goes on her way and then you'll be able to, uh, then it will move you on to going to the next destination, which would be Joe and his friend, drop off Joe. And then you complete the entire lift line. You press confirm drop off. That lift line is done. You'll have the opportunity to rate and comment on, uh, both rides and uh, you'll be able to see how much you've gotten for them in time for the entire fare and then you're back and open and ready to go onto the road uh, to either pick up a regular lift or pick up a lift line so I hope that was pretty self-explanatory I know when you think about it uh, it seems like it might be kind of difficult but it pretty much the key to lift line is just following the app the app is not supposed to steer you wrong. And if it does, you you just have to contact Lyft and tell them. But pretty much it's self-explanatory. Um, confirm when they tell you to confirm. Leave when they tell you to leave. Um, and make sure when you get to wherever the destination is that you give... Uh, you confirm that you're in the right place, then press uh, confirm arrival. Some people have 90 seconds to get in. They're usually outside. If not, uh, make sure you stick to the clock because um, with lift line, time is money. Um, and even though it is for some people a longer ride than expected. So I hope that helps. I haven't done a lift video in a long time, and I'm happy that this person actually uh, requested me to do this video because I didn't know what else to talk about because <laughs> I, uh, I myself haven't driven in like maybe like a month. So I'm probably going to get on the road, uh, next week. My schedule has been crazy, but if you have any questions, please let me know if you have any videos that you'd like me to do about my Lyft experience. Um, please feel free to contact me, um, in the comments below. Uh, as again, if you like this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, share with your friends, share with other people that possibly are thinking about, uh, joining Lyft and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.